On August 6th, Iron River area voters will decide on a millage proposal for the Windsor Center. The center is open to the public for community events and even rental space for small businesses. TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Abby Miller looks at the millage proposal up close. These rooms, we have three rooms, are a real benefit to this group. The 1928 historic building, which was part of the Iron River school system, is known now as the Windsor Center, a place for people of all ages to perform, create, and learn. I look at it as a cultural and recreational center for the community being the whole West End community, not just the city. But maintaining the building as a business and recreation center requires funding. We went to the people two years ago and asked them for some funding to help us continue the recreational aspects and cultural aspects of our operations. And they were very generous in approving that. That millage from two years ago is now expired, which means a renewal millage is needed. To keep the doors open, this millage is basically necessary. We can operate probably another year without the millage, and then it will have to close the doors. If the millage for the Windsor Center does pass, it will allow quilters like these women here to continue doing their charity work. We had an opportunity to um, rent this, and like I said, I was dead set against it, but to me, it's home now. Ironing board set up back yeah. there. Yeah. This group of quilters meets two times a week in the Windsor Center, making handmade creations for charity. Well, all of this fabric is only for charity work. We certainly hope that this millage passes again because it's just a marvelous building available to, for all kinds of activities, particularly children's uh, programs. Children's programs, such as a cooking class, gives kids an opportunity to try their hand at culinary art. The millage is a .5 renewal, 50 cents per $1,000 in taxable value. In simpler terms, it would mean anywhere from 20 to around $50 a year. But it's not additional taxes, it's simply a continuation of what was voted on two years ago. In Iron River, Abby Miller, TV6 News.